hello hello welcome to a new vlog so i'm just straightening my hair a little bit so i've come to terms that i have like fried my hair completely and that sucks i think for the longest time like i was just counting on my hair staying healthy because i was young my hair was thick and pretty but as you age and the more you use heat on it without heat protectant it's not good. It's not cute. So I had you guys recommend me some frizzy shampoo and conditioner. So thank you for that. Now I need recommended a really good heat protectant because I'm not going to stop using heat on my hair because I like my hair either curly or straight and I ain't got neither. My hair is just a mess and it's like I never expected that to happen to me, but it did. So I actually just got done getting ready. I'm actually going to go out. Might do a little shopping, might get something to eat. I'm not sure what I'm going to vlog, but I'm going to try my hardest to vlog for you guys. Stop one is Torrid. Now we're about to eat at this Mexican restaurant. It's actually super freaking fancy, not gonna lie. Mi casa is too close. Ooh, that's heavy. Okay, so we're in Dollar. <laughs> <Get it. laughs> so we're in Dollar General, and I'm getting a little candy. I'm getting chocolate covered caramel, Werther. So, yeah. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I'm actually waiting for my mom to come pick me up because we're going to go visit my grandma. My grandma actually just had lung surgery, so if you guys pray or want to send out positive vibes, definitely do that. There was no complications, thank God, we were all very worried. But we want to go visit her and make sure she's okay and make her feel loved and yeah, I just want to check in on her. So this is one of my grandma's cats, actually my favorite cat that she has. I'm obsessed with her, I need her and I want her. This is the female version of Grumpy Cat. Okay, you guys, so I'm on a hair journey. Um, I know in the beginning of this vlog, I said, help me with some heat protectant. And now I'm just saying, no, don't do that. I'm done adding heat to my hair. What has happened has literally traumatized me beyond words. You guys will not notice. And I barely even noticed until I went back and watched like a vlog from like November or December. My hair is fried. Um, I'm losing a lot of hair from down here. Um, my hair is thin. My hair is falling out. It doesn't feel the same. It doesn't look the same. And it's because, as you guys know, I used to wear my hair in a bun constant. I mean, for years and years, that is what I did with the occasional, let's wear my hair down. But ever since, I don't know, I would say the last like six months, I have straightened my hair or curled my hair in some sort of fashion multiple multiple times a week my hair is not used to that 
but that's the style I wanted. I wanted my hair to be super straight or I wanted to have waves in it. And I've never been like a curly hair girly pop. My hair would never hold a curl. Like I literally got my hair done years ago. I vlogged it. I did like an ombre thing. And while I was there, when she was done, she was like, like the um, hair salon person. She was like, I want to curl your hair. And I was like, my hair will not curl for you. And she was like, just watch. She tried. She couldn't curl it. Like my hair was just like pin straight. But then I started realizing recently, like, why is my hair keeping a curl? Like it's because my hair has changed texture so much. So then like now that I can have like a little wave, I was like, oh my God, I never want to stop. Like, cause it's something I've wanted my whole life. So now that I could finally do it, I couldn't get enough. So by doing that and by adding heat to my hair so often after I haven't really been doing that, my hair is not happy with me. So I am not gonna be adding heat to my hair for a hot minute. I'm gonna be changing my shampoo and conditioner, which I've actually already done that. Like I used to use Tresemme and you guys were like, don't do that. Like supposedly Tresemme has been like sued like multiple times. I cried about it actually, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I cried about it to my mom because my hair has always been like, you know, my favorite thing about myself. And now I'm slowly losing it. Actually, it's happened quite fast. I'm not gonna lie to you because like just in December, my hair looked completely different. Like going back and looking like in 2018, like how thick my hair was, I just, I don't know. It's kind of getting to me and a lot of people won't like understand that, but I need to take care of my hair now. I'm like literally rambling about this. I'm gonna shut up now. You guys, I am like super behind on each three videos, but you guys know me. I watch every single one of their podcasts. I am obsessed with them. Probably their biggest fan. But um, someone messaged me on Instagram. This was a minute ago, like I'd say like two weeks ago. And they were like, oh my God, you were on the H3 podcast. Well, long story short, um, I'm going to show the clip here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. okay you is to lose you sometimes you just need to disconnect and enjoy your own company damn yeah she's going through something yeah. something is happening isn't it? Isn't it? i don't think that means that she's necessarily and then while i was watching the actual um podcast while that happened people in the comments were like oh my god amber lynn i love you and like all this stuff and i was just like i can't even begin to imagine like does h3 know me if you do hello hello like i'm just obsessed with the h3 podcast you guys know that so when i saw like my tiktok like pop up right there like i was shook to say the least honestly now that i think about it i think the top two weirdest situations that have happened was little nas x posting a picture of me on his instagram it was like a meme or howard stern using like audio from one of my mukbangs in one of his like podcasts or whatever. I don't watch Howard Stern, I never really have, but like obviously I know his name, but this was years ago and people sent me the clip and I was like, that is like the weirdest thing ever. Okay, you guys, we're about to do a taste test of something that I told myself that I would never in a million years try. So I love pickled things. I like pickled cucumbers, which are pickles, pickled onion, pickled carrots, pickled asparagus, pickled okra, the list can go on. Y'all remember my pickled baby corn era, don't you? Also, I've been loving a boiled egg. Put two and two together. We have pickled eggs. And I'm going to try one for you guys. I said, you know what? Do it for the plot. Do it for the vlog. So let's do it. Old South pickled eggs. Oh boy. So I did have it in the freezer. No, I didn't. I had it in the fridge. Oh. <gasps> this smells identical to a salt and vinegar potato chip. That's weird, but does make sense because it's vinegar and salt, I'm assuming. Eggs, water, vinegar, salt, natural flavors, and polysorbate 80. I don't even want to touch it. Let me get a fork. I am genuinely so nervous. <laughs> oh, do it for the plot. Do it for the plot. Okay. Ready? All right. A lot's happening. Ooh! That's vinegary. I don't have a conclusion, so we're going in for another bite. This is what it looks like on the inside. All right. <laughs> 
You guys, I'm having like a, a moment. I'm a pretty picky eater. If you know me in real life, you know that. I was expecting to hate these. You can love two things separately. It doesn't mean you gotta love them together. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this is good. It doesn't taste like anything pickled I've ever had before. It literally tastes like that flavor that a salt and vinegar potato chip has. So weird. And the texture is splendid. It's like a little bit like more firm and hard compared to like just a normal hard boiled egg. I don't know if it's the vinegar, but the texture is great. So for one of these is only 50 calories. I could definitely only eat one at a time though because it is super vinegary, but it's good. I feel like this would be really good in a salad. Color me surprised. So I just got a package from Amazon. I got these face diamonds. So it comes with these diamonds, like a silvery diamond and like the tools, glue. I think like a diamond or two would be so cute near my like eyeliner or something. I'm definitely gonna be using the smaller ones like these down here because I don't wanna do anything crazy. So this is, a no for me but I'm sure it looks great on other people so when I do try this out I will definitely tell you guys oh and it also came with some white something or other I was gonna say eyeliner but that's definitely not white eyeliner that's like a pencil but I'm not sure why okay very interesting so I wanted to actually end this vlog here. I know it's a short one. Some of my videos are pretty short. I'm sorry. I wanted to end it with a Wednesday weigh-in. So I weighed in at 499.0. So I'm not even down a pound this week. I've honestly been doing really good, which is unfortunate. I'm not perfect by no means, but I've definitely made a lot of progress here lately. And it just feels really good to be able to say that. Anyways, I'm about to get ready for bed. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.